right, so here it is. Uh, thanks for coming back, anyway. Here is, uh, here's kind of like the finished product. I've um, bodyworked the hood a little bit to get it to look right, and then uh, I got some just rattle can paint to closely match what was originally on the vehicle to give the hood kind of a cohesive look like, ah, it's always been on there. At some point, I'm going to put a paint job on this thing, but the body is a little rough. It's got some dings and dents here and there, and paint flaking, chipping, a little rust. So uh, I'm not sure how good of a paint job I'm going to want to put on this thing. So I'm not sure how much fine finished body work I'm going to want to do. But um, let me see what happened here. How I got the how I got the line on the hood to, to mesh with the rocker here. Um, I think the image probably does a better job of explaining than I do so got my badges on hood badges and you can see the air dam treatment with a couple of slots there for the hinges and the gap there for the lower I think that's the air conditioning compressor or excuse me condenser and a few more holes for airflow and I'll show you the treatment I did under the hood let's set this down for a second Just did a quick kind of a trunk spray deal to blacken it up. Um, added a little a little strut tower bar here, mostly just to mount the uh, these antennas and that fuse center there. I'm sure it adds a little bit of rigidity, but it's not the intention. Cleaned up the engine compartment a little bit. I did put a a Ford uh, badge there. That's a 360 high performance. 360 in this case, of course, refers to the uh, the voltage. So, and that's uh, that's pretty much done now. Other than a little bit of more body and paint, it's a it's been a nice driver. I've put probably 300 miles on it, perfectly trouble-free miles. It, uh, it runs and rides really nice. It's a really cool, really cool machine to to drive around in. Um, gets a lot of looks and compliments, and that's even before people realize it's electric. That just blows their mind if I ever pop the hood. Um, the fiberglass front end, you know, you go over bumps and stuff, you get a little rattle out of it, and but um, but it's a pretty solid machine. I'm I'm pleased with it, and it's a fun driving car. So the range is good, the performance is good, it handles amazingly. Um, the lighter weight just it rips through roundabouts like it's just phenomenal. It doesn't even, doesn't even barely lean. So I'm pleased with how it's turned out, and I think as the weeks and months wear on, I'll get a paint job on it and. Maybe do an update and talk about if I've got any range increase or anything like that. But so far, it's uh, it's I, I think it's met the expectations that I was hoping for. So anyway, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.